Hi, and welcome to 3dmotive.com. My name is Stephen G. Wells, and I'm a senior 3D artist. In this series, we're going to take a look at introducing you to the world of Mudbox. We're going to look at the interface and examine all the different things we can do with that. We're going to look at dropping our subdivisions up and down. We're going to check wireframes. We're going to rebuild subdivisions. We're going to look at the connections we can make online to the actual Mudbox community, all within Mudbox itself. We're going to look at the UV uh, view of the particular model. We're then going to go ahead and examine some of the viewport filters and adjusting our lights to be able to get some really cool effects, just so we can help sculpt the model as we're going to want to be able to do it. We'll check some of the different filters, depth of field, ca cavity ambient occlusion. We'll even do a normal map test just to see what your model is going to look like with a normal map and a non-photorealistic kind of cartoon feel for it. We're then going to examine the difference between stamps and stencils. We'll then look to go ahead and adjust our actual fall off on the brushes. So when we go for sculpting in the next volume, we'll know what we're doing with that. We'll then finally f follow up with everything with checking out the different default light setups within Mudbox. Okay, so let's get started. 